I wanted to record a few hours ago, but we were having quite the lightning storm and all the gray outside was just causing glare on my glasses, so you're stuck with it today no matter when I do this. Hello everyone and welcome to Vita Day 20 for April 20th. Of course you did. <sighs> for April 20th, 2017. My name of course is Artemidge. And I'm kind of looking forward to tomorrow because my new airbrush arrives. As some of you may recall, I mentioned that this airbrush right here is dead. Died early this month. And that's no surprise after five and a half years of abuse. I was looking at replacing it soon anyway because I don't know if you can tell, but the chrome finish on the inside of the cup is starting to go and that means paint's going to stick on the inside and going to cause me further performance issues later on. So it was pretty much time to replace it anyway. The new airbrush is really just a way to segue into what today's topic is, being art therapy. I came across an article today over Facebook about an art therapy program going on in Toronto, uh, the Workman Art Centre. You can find the link in the description below to tell you a fair bit about that. And so I figured it'd be a good time to talk about art therapy, especially since one of the things I do, hobby miniature gaming, does involve a fair bit of art. I mean, it's, it's not good art, but it's art. Now a lot of people might be reluctant about looking to art therapy programs because they don't feel that the quality of their work would be suitable for anything to be happy about. So that's not really the point of an art therapy program. Now when people start thinking about art therapy, they might start thinking of things like painting and drawing, the more traditional routes, and a lot of people don't feel they can draw stick figures well. I'm certainly one of them. I cannot draw to save my life. The point of the art therapy isn't necessarily to make something that you're happy with. It's to make something that lets you express yourself, that lets you get out your feelings, that lets you unburden yourself with boredom and this pent-up energy that doesn't seem to be going anywhere. It's a way of showing people what you might not necessarily be able to say. There are all kinds of options from the typical, as I mentioned, drawing and painting, to sculpting, to text textile work, to glass blowing. There's plenty of options out there. And if you talk to your local mental care facilities, mental care provider and programs, I'm sure that they can point you in a direction that will suit you. Now, the main thing to remember when doing any art for anything is to remember to do it for yourself first. As I said before, my miniatures, when I paint them, I'm not painting them to enter into a competition unless that competition is follow the rules of the miniatures game and go wreck things. I'm not going to have people go, hmm, oh, look at all this lack of coverage here. That's losing points. Again, this is me being happy with my mediocrity to put across the table something for somebody to fight. Yours might be putting together a collage to hang on your wall to remind yourself you're going through something now but comes out to something else later. You might do a sculpture that brings you just a sense of calm. This is what your art therapy is supposed to be about. And if you can find your own self-expression without these programs, certainly look into it. And it doesn't take much to get some half-decent paper, some charcoal or pencils, and have at it. You can find plenty of art stores that will carry a variety of supplies, such as pencil crayons or markers, or even regular crayons. So really what it comes down to is if you think that a form of self-expression like an art is going to help you, jump in, give it a try, find a class, find the people to do it with, just sit at home and doodle. Do something that makes you feel better. So that's all for today. Everyone take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I will see you tomorrow.